everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy red carpet. I mean, I'm no, I'm not supposed. I'm supposed to be, you know, unbiased and professional, but um, you kind of look amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, yeah, I, I wanted to go uh, Rafa Russo. I wanted to go a little uh, pretty and relaxed because Steffi. Well, not relaxed, but pretty and a little Disney-ish, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, because Steffi is so edgy and like dark and muted and a lot of leather, and I wanted to do something just more. A little opposite, you know, and it's funny because Annika, who plays Hope, she plays. She's usually very girly on the show, and she's all vamped up. So it's cool, and I'm kind of ha still have the little coming off of Coachella, so the flowers, oh, the okay. hair. Well, then, it all, then it all makes sense. <laughs> You've done a bunch of little red carpet things before, but something different this year. Something, something going on. A little. Emmy nomination. Yeah. How's yeah. that feel? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are I'm, you going to tell me the truth? I, no, I, you know, I'm telling you, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I am so honored to be a part of this. It is such, there is such a, a talented group of women. And, you know, I was nominated for Younger Actor, Actress. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's pretty cool to, you know, you, you jump up to supporting. And there's a lot of women. There's a lot of women who try to get, you know, nominated. So, so many that honor. there are six nominees in the category. Yeah, this year. yeah. And they're all so talented. So either way, I'm going to have fun. Because you seem happy. I mean, if you are nervous, you're you're hiding it. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. No, I mean, who knows? I could go up there by wit and just blank and not know what to do, and that'll be a whole other thing. Uh, but right now, I'm just yeah, I'm really just enjoying this moment. So before you do blank, little challenge for you: in 15 seconds or less, tell me everything that Steffi has gone through in the last year. And go. Okay, uh, Steffi uh, married Liam. She couldn't get pregnant, found out that she was pregnant. Uh, back up, she cheated on Liam with his her with his father because Liam, ah, Liam kissed, let's not forget that, kissed Sally, and everyone else wants to forget, but I haven't. And now uh, she is pregnant and she could possibly have this child, but now Liam may be losing her, him losing, uh, go, going to be with Hope. <sighs> So really, nothing happened in the last year. No, not, not. I'm sweating. I was that was a little workout. <laughs> so one of the things that I'm doing, and this is great because the person who asked this question is still nearby. I've been asking people. Yes, I love that. Love that. So. I'm asking people who I interview to give me a question to ask the next person. The question that I was asked is, what is the last thing <laughs> that you did that got you in trouble? And that question, I don't want to, I don't like to reveal who it was, <laughs> but the question was submitted by someone who's standing very close to us at the moment. So what is the last thing that you've done that has gotten you in trouble? It's got me in trouble. I, I, honey, I don't get in trouble. I'm too smooth. I am too smooth. No, no, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm Canadian. We don't get in trouble. <laughs> I have to say, Canada is one of the only countries that's asked me to come back after I've been there. So clearly, <laughs> clearly their, their standards are a little loose. I guess. I don't know. I, I, I wish. I, I wish. I. I, I mean, it, that if I would tell you things, I almost got in trouble for, but I didn't. Uh, that'd be a long story. It'd be a long story. Yeah. Let me just tell you, we have a lot of fun in Monte Carlo. And uh, things get pretty crazy. I'll leave it at that. So since I don't know that that was really an answer, but I'll buy it. Yeah. You get to give me a question to ask whoever I'm going to talk to next. I don't know who it's going to be. Oh. It could be anybody. So it can be a good question, it could be a bad question. I've gotten in trouble with questions, so. OK, if the person is in a love triangle, I want to know who's the best kisser. Why are you getting me in trouble? Because you're in trouble and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Canada. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy Red Carpet.